Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. So today we're going to be doing this poster here which is like mostly typography based and have this really cool like distortion. So let's jump in. Just going to go back to my full menu here and let's going to press new file. I'm going to use this resolution here. Press create. Just going to get back into the center. And the first thing we want to do is actually go to our uh, line segment tool here. And if you don't see the grid here, you can just right click and select our rectangle grid tool, then just click twice. And let's use the dividers 10 on the horizontal and 10 in the vertical. Perfect. Now just make a perfect grid in the same size of our artboard. And let's go to view and guides and then make guides. So you're going to be using this as uh, like a, our structure for the guides. So then go to a tool, uh, pen tool here, sorry, and then just go three by three, something like this. So right now we are, actually we are doing, we're creating the, the main shape that's going to create the distortion on a text and something like this. Yeah. So this is like the zigzag shape that we're going to be using to make the text, the text distortion. Let's just move it to the side here. Let's get our text tool here. I'm gonna use MASD, which stands for Marcus and uh, Marcus Antonio Silva Gias, which is my name. Outward, and I'm gonna be using this font Outward, which you actually can download free on the website eveltine.fr. This is like an open source type font library, which is really cool. You can use the fonts as, as you want and download them. The only thing you can do is actually resell them. So you can edit them freely. There is no, no problem at all. Let's just jump back to our illustrator here. I'm going to select my font and then I'm going to expand it and going to scale it a little bit like this. Perfect. I don't need the guides right now, so I'm going to hide them. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to make some nice distortions using the direct selection tool here to, um, to this font. Let's just push this and then pull it up, something like this, and then do the same thing in the bottom here to make it even a little bit more condensed than it is naturally. I'm going to just reduce this one here to make, be sure like it's not too different. Perfect. Something like this. Actually, I'm going to just zoom in a little bit again. I'm going to select the middle points of the letter A and S and just going to center a little bit more like this. Perfect. And let's just center this. Now we're going to group it in case it's not grouped. It actually is. And let's just make the same size of our shape. And let's just, just click on our shape and right click and then arrange and bring to the front. Let's just select the shape and the type. Let's go to edit, uh, sorry, to object, en envelope distort and make with top object like this. See, it was pretty, pretty straightforward. We already achieved like the main visual really easily. Let's just scale this down a little bit and we can actually still distort it a little bit more if you want to. Perfect. So this is pretty much uh, the main visual. I'm just going to copy this here just to get the color references here on the side. So I'll make sure it's like the same color. And then I'm just going to select this one. Let's go to edit, copy and edit, paste in place. And then right click, transform, reflect. Perfect. So and then just going to send this. Right click, arrange, send to the back. Something like this, and just gonna apply some nice colors. Let's just go into expand it first as well. I'm pretty happy with the results, so I'm just going for it. Let's just going to expand this one too, and make it that color, and create a new background solid here using the rectangle tool. I'm gonna just right click, arrange, send to the back, and just gonna steal the colors from this other poster here. Perfect. So this is like, as you can see, it's pretty much it. It's very simple, but the visual is very, very cool. I really like when I've done this visual was like, I was really surprised like, oh, so quickly I can actually create something like actually like that much. 
and yeah oh also i made this like little shiny bits with some color so the way to do that is actually just go into here get the ellipse tool just make a nice ellipse here and then go to effects distort and transform pucker and bloat and just apply 100 percent negative and perfect it, there you have like really nice maybe i'm gonna make them white this time really nah i actually like the purple and yeah you can just add them to your design really easily and and have fun with some like shiny bits on your design i'm just making a copy using alt sorry i'm doing some steps i'm not and i'm not actually telling them i'm just like making a instant copy using alt key which is really cool it's very it improves the, the workflow very much instead of just going to edit and then copy and paste all the time okay this is pretty much it i'm gonna leave you now i think you get the idea and you get the technique by this by now so yeah please if you do this tutorial share with me i really want to see your designs and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe to the channel it helps me a lot i'm just starting i'm just learning I promise I'll get better with time. So yeah, I see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.